we're very interested in learning and memory, and, and um, this is something I've been interested in for, for many years and really um, fascinated by how do you encode a memory in, in your brain. So what happens in your brain when you learn something? How does learning that change the structure of your brain and, and uh, therefore encode the, the memory? And so, of course, we all know that memories last decades, um, so there's got to be something physical uh, that changes in the brain that can, is very stable can last for decades and that's what we've been trying to figure out and um, the way we've done this is to study synapses in the brain how neurons um, the cells in your brain communicate with each other because that's how the brain works it sends signals back and forth and um, so we study how these synapses work uh, the, the cells communicate and how learning changes that process and sort of rewires the, the brain to encode the memory. And so we've identified a variety of molecules that are involved in this process. And these actually turn out to be important for lots of uh, neurological diseases, also schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, um, autism. So the genes we've been studying in the normal brain are now being discovered to be involved in, in neurological and psychiatric diseases.